Although the z-score equation works well for transforming x values into z-scores, it can be awkward when you're trying to work in the opposite direction and change z-scores back into x values. On the right side of the slide is the formula you will use to transform z-scores back into raw scores. You will have some problems where you will be required to use this formula. For either transforming raw scores to z-scores or z-scores to raw scores, you need to have the population mean and standard deviation values available. If you're working on a problem where you start out with a distribution of raw scores, you will be calculating the mean and standard deviation using the formulas you learned in chapters 3 and 4.